Hi kids, it's Pastor Jim here. And I want to talk a little bit about waiting. Is it ever hard for you to wait for things? It's a little bit noisy out here. I'm in the backyard where the wind's blowing because I wanted to show you a couple things that we have to wait for. But kids have to wait for things all the time. And you have to wait till the grown-ups say you can go outside to play. You have to wait until it's time to go swimming. You have to wait until it's dinner time. You have to wait until it's dessert. You have to wait till your favorite show comes on. Maybe you have to wait till you can go to Disneyland or something fun like that. You have to wait for your birthday. It can take a long time. and It can get tiring waiting. We want to know when it's going to come. But the Bible talks about um, an example of patience, which means waiting without getting too upset about waiting, of, of a farmer, farmers who grow things. So I want to show you a couple of things that, that we're growing here at our house. And we've got some, we have some peaches that are growing here. Can you see those, the color they are? They were green, but they're getting to be a better color. And then over here, we have some more peaches getting better. Then over this side of the yard, we have our little um, bucket garden, and we've got some things growing in buckets. We've got some squash. Looks like maybe we didn't quite get enough water on it yesterday has some little flowers here that are starting to dry up and behind the flowers then after the flower fades away then a little fruit grows see over on this side we've got some blossoms oh there you can see a tiny little squash it's looking a little dry we better give it some extra water these these flowers will bloom and then a tiny squash will grow and then a big squash will grow and sometimes they get very big and then we have tomatoes. So here you can see a couple of the flowers. These ones are a little bit dried up because it was hot yesterday so they might not turn into tomatoes but after the flower goes away then this tiny little fruit starts to grow. Then look down a little bit lower we've got some bigger ones that are getting bigger each day and go down a little bit lower and we've got some ones that are almost, not quite, but almost red enough for eating. We've been waiting for those. And so the Bible talks about the farmer who waits until his crops get ripe and then he's ready to eat them. So I hope that you have, can have some patience that when you have to wait, you don't get too upset about it, but you'll look forward to the good things. And especially that we can have patience because we're waiting for the good things that God is going to bring in our lives. And we know that God has good things for us. Hope you're having a good week.